why is it so critical for a brand to be an e-commerce these days? Because you have large players in China like Alibaba, Tmall, Taobao, Jinong, or whatever. They are basically the first destination for Chinese consumers to buy anything in China. So brands use those platforms with like half a billion visitors a month in average, half a billion visitors a month, which is absolutely crazy, uh, not only to sell, but to do brand building activities. Okay. That's why you have a luxury, you have a luxury brand on those platforms. They don't sell much. They use it as a brand building tool. Okay. Or they use it for a way to communicate, to link with their customers. And something else, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cheap way to start. It's much, much cheaper than retail offline or like in stores here in Shanghai, rental are crazy expensive. So a very good way to test the market, okay, it's e-commerce. It's not that cheap anymore. Okay, don't think e-commerce in China is cheap. It's not cheap anymore. We may have the most expensive media cost online in the world now in China. People are not cheap anymore, especially in Shanghai but still is cheaper than opening like 200 or 300 or 500 stores just to cover China. Okay. Another way to do it, and, and why e-commerce is so important now for brands, it's a direct link with the, with, with the end users. Okay. They don't have like wholesalers, resellers, distributors, layers. They just do it like from, like from them to Tmall and Tmall to the consumers. So they have real-time feedback okay, on new product launch, on new campaigns, on if they use this celebrity to promote, is it going to work or not? They use e-commerce like this, like a real-time feedback channel. It's a very, very good way for a brand to launch a new product. Okay. And it's, it's, it's an easy way, it's maybe the easiest way in China, if you link social to commerce, to get like what your audience, what your potential customers are actually thinking of your brand, your product, if you are weak, if you are good, you will know everything from this e-commerce part. So the e-commerce ecosystem in China, we have many, many, many large players. It can be like Tmall, for Alibaba retail system, basically Tmall, Taobao, uh, Jindong, Yihaudia, and all of those guys. Uh, they try to position themselves not only as an e-commerce channel, but as a brand destination channel. Okay, so that's why you have a lot of like brand day, new product launch day, uh, and when you have a Tmall store, you can have your product pages, but you can have your brand pages as well. You can, you can tell your brand content, you can, you can create specific brand values for e-commerce, or even you can create specific products for e-commerce. Okay. It, it happens actually. We have some clients that have specific limited edition for e-commerce, which makes a lot of sense. Okay. Especially if you are targeting like uh, basically 20 to 40 years old people in China, E-commerce for them is and, and will be forever the primary shopping destination. Okay? They don't go to store anymore. They don't watch TV anymore. Okay? So the only way for you to influence them, the only way for you to reach them, basically, will be e-commerce and digital. And digital, mo they are mostly social. They are very, very social engaged. And, or, and they are mostly like e-commerce focused. Like if you look at what, what, what people here are doing during the lunch break, most of them are doing window shopping. And where are they, where are they doing window shopping? Mostly Taobao, Tmall, or Jindong. Okay. For like one hour a day. They never buy anything, basically. Okay. Or they buy cheap stuff. But when, they, when, but when they want to buy something, when they intend to buy something, so what we call intended shoppers, in, in, the, in, in our e-commerce jargon, basically those guys, they are on e-commerce platforms. Okay. They don't go to Baidu and search for the brand and then they, they jump to e-commerce platforms. No, no. When they want to buy something, for a vast majority of them, they just jump on e-commerce platforms. Okay, so it's critical for a brand to be there. Uh, and if the brand is not there, they are not found. Even if they don't sell much online, if they are not found on, on Taobao or on Jindong, people think the brand is not good enough. People think the brand is not like reliable enough. Why they don't? Why they are not there? What makes them? why they are not on Taobao or Tmall exposing their branding, exposing their product to the consumers.